Skills USA. Skills USA is the number one workforce development organization in the United States. We have done the work to make sure that we know what it is that um, employers are looking for. We have 17 career essentials that if you join Skills USA and you actually work the program and you do the work, you are going to be ready when you graduate high school, whether that's going into college or junior college or whether that's going into a program or your skill training. But it's up to you to join and do the program of work. But so, Skills USA, what we do, we have um, everything that you do in the career in technical education, in whatever program that you're in, Skills USA has a program that will cater to you. It's integrated into what you're already doing right now. It's not anything extra. So what we do, if you're a part of a career in technical education program, which most of you probably are, then you're required to be a part of a student organization. So Skills USA is a student organization. It's not a club. It's an organization that's integrated into your coursework that you're doing right now. And we work to prepare you for a career. We work to prepare you to go to college, whatever that looks like for you. We want to make sure that when you leave Richmond High School that you are prepared to either go to college or you're prepared to get a job so that you can take care of yourself and take care of your family. So in addition to um, the program of work that we have, one of the things that we do to prepare you is that we have competitions. So there are a number of competitions. There are leadership competitions and there are skill competitions. So we're not all about competitions. We have mentoring programs. One of the things that um, I'm trying to push this year is a mentoring um, program. Everybody doesn't like to compete. How many of you like competition? <laughs> Only two people like competitions? Okay. Well, um, some people like mentoring. How many of you like working with elementary age kids? Or So if you don't like to compete, then you can join Skills USA. And if your school approves, like you can, I don't know what's the neighboring um, elementary or middle school, um, you could maybe partner with a middle school or an elementary school and spend 20 minutes a week and mentor a middle school or elementary age, and that's still showing active participation in a student organization. As far as the competitions that we have, we have culinary competitions. Our culinary competitions are offered in our state competition that's held the first week in April. So our state competition is April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. It's in Jackson. We also have regional competitions. We have five regional competitions that are starting January of 2025. And you have to compete in your particular region. So there are only 16 competitions that are offered at the um, regional competitions that you have to place first, second, or third. And then you'll go on and compete at state. But there are many more competitions that are offered um, at the state competition. So is there anybody that's in culinary? Here. Everybody. Everybody in here is culinary. Everybody. Okay, so let's talk about the culinary competition. So if you are in culinary, we have, um, let me get my culinary competition out. We have bacon and pastry art. We have culinary art. And we have um, restaurant services. Those competitions are state-only competitions, which means that you would only compete in those competitions um, in April. You know, whatever that Wednesday is, and that, those competitions will be held at Clinton High School. So what would happen for those competitions is that chef would get all the recipes, he would get all of the information that you would need to prepare for that competition. <coughs> and then you guys, whoever he would select to co compete, because everybody can't compete, he would hire whatever process he uses to, to decide who would compete. You would go to Clinton High School and you would compete with um, the students from the other competition. <coughs> And if you place first at the state, then you would have the opportunity to go to the national competition in Atlanta to compete with other students from across um, the United States at the Skills USA national competition. But if you want to compete at the regional competition, then you can go and you can compete in Job Skills Demo Open and, or Job Skills Demo A. So Job Skills Demo A is a competition that's offered at the regional competition, which means you have to compete in your career cluster, which means whatever career cluster you're in right now, if that's culinary, then you can compete in that. Job Skills Demo Open means you can compete in anything. You can compete in anything you want to. It doesn't have to be culinary. But we have other leadership competitions, such as um, Quiz Bowl. You can do extemporaneous speaking. There are several other 
uh, competitions that you can do that's not related to your career cluster. As a matter of fact, I wanted to see if you guys would like to participate in an uh, extemporaneous speaking competition right now. So if we have any volunteers, I wanted to see if we would have anybody that would want to participate in just a mock extemporaneous speaking competition right now. And we would have a few people come up and do the competition, and then we would have a couple of other people that would participate as judges. So do we have anybody that wants to participate in the extemporaneous competition right now? I will give you a topic, give you a couple of minutes to prepare the speech, and then we will pick some people to be judges. You may want to explain to them what extemporaneous is. Nobody? Nobody wants to come up and prepare a speech? Do you have like two minutes to prepare a speech, one minute to deliver the speech? And I'll give you the topic. Can you explain what they Huh? Explain it. What topic? I'm not giving topic until you come up. <laughs> That's how it works. You don't get the topic until you, they, you don't get the topic beforehand for extemporaneous speaking. So for the competition, extemporaneous speaking, once you show up the day of the competition, you come in, they give you the topic, then you get a chance to prepare. That's why it's extemporaneous. It's like speaking off the cuff. So nobody? I can do it. Okay, you come up. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm going to let you try it. I'm going to let you try it. Anybody else? I'm okay, baby. I'm okay, baby. Come on up. My name is Jesus. Oh, my God.
No talking, judges. You can't talk to nobody else. Judges, the criteria for judges. This is what y'all gonna be judging them on. Y'all got y'all phones? Take notes. Hey. Nope. <laughs> Okay. 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 But I might stutter when I talk, so don't talk
Y'all don't compare scores. Y'all judge on your own court. It's up to y'all whether or not in a real competition, it's up to the judges whether they take a penalty or not. So this is contestant number two coming to the stage. Oh, yeah, really. Come the topic on. again is do social media relationships last? Come on up. Contestant number two. Wait, I'm confused. Do you mean like relationships only on social media or like relationships? It's up to her interpretation. Oh, you don't need your phone? Let her know time to lay out here. She comes like a dome. She finished through the barn. All right, social media relationships do not last simply because you cannot develop a real connection with somebody over the phone. Because let's say y'all tested for two, three months, y'all link up, they voice different, they stain, they not clean, their house not clean. You can't, you can't truly be with somebody you don't actually know. You can't get to know people over the phone. It's that simple. Social media relationships do not work. Social media is fake. You can post a picture and say you in New York, but really you in Mississippi. So everything on social media is fake. Can you develop a relationship off that? Thanks. That's it. <laughs> okay, thank you. One more time. Okay, thank you. That's number two. You can have a seat. <laughs> you can send in number three. I'll finish y'all's score and send in contestant number three. Okay. This is contestant number three. The, the topic is do social media relationships last. Okay. So I say that social media relationships can be a positive and a negative impact on them. Negative impact. Positive side is it helps people stay it helps people stay connected with one another, with friends and family, also improving their communication skills with between the partners and their children. Just Simple thing, but the negative outcome of those relationships can also lead to less quality time spent with friends and family. Um, it uses, it brings a lot of stress and conflict towards a relationship because outside people, once they see something happy and they don't have it, they want to attack from it. Um, what else? Oh, and they make others feel jealous and comparing themselves with others. So if you don't feel like you meet this type of beauty standard or criteria, it ain't. It's not gonna work out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Both the time. 42 seconds. Okay, thanks. You have a seat. <laughs> what number were you? Three. Okay. Are we sending in four? All right, y'all. Are you contestant number four? Okay, come on up on the stage, contestant number four. Come on, brother. Mm-hmm. Come on up. Remember, this is a real competition that we have. Contestant number four, the topic was do social media relationships last? She is the timekeeper. She'll let you know when it's time. Okay, go. It's not, it's not loading right. All right, I got it. You ready? All right, so I don't think that social media relationships last because the moment that somebody does something that the other person don't like, they will turn against each other. And then the person will turn against each other and then they'll try to be getting at each other. And then there's no point in the relationship no more. Okay, what was the time? Okay, thank you. You can have a seat. <laughs> now you have a seat back in the audience. Right. How many contestants did you have? Uh, no. Okay, we have our last contestant coming up. He right up. Oh, we had five. I think he, he, he said that. Did he drop out? Oh, you don't have any more contestants? No, no, we got somebody else. Oh, okay. I think this is our last contestant. It is. Yeah.
Okay, come on up, number five. Contestant number five is our last contestant. Come on up to the stage. Come on, please stay. Yes, yeah, number five is our last contestant. Um, do social media relationships last. This is our time, people. Hold on. Oh, the reason why social media, social media relationships don't last is because behind all social media relationships, it's not really real love. You know what I'm saying? It, they don't really. It, it's like. The, the relationship is not really, it's not, it, it, it shows, <clears throat> it shows love, like on the, the front page and the social media, but behind all that, in real life, ain't no love behind it, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not really a relationship, it's just, they just do it for money and views and clout and content, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's not really, it's not really love, it's just, uh, it's just, they do, they do it for popularity and fame, that's all, that's all. Okay, take your time. What was the time? Thank you. Yeah. Now, let's give everybody a round of applause. Why do y'all think that? Why do you think that we would have an extemporaneous speaking competition? Why? What do you think is important to be able to do that? A way of words. Hmm. A way of words. You know, because you never know when you meet someone. Yeah, that's important because you have to be able to speak. You never know when you're going to meet somebody and you have to sell yourself, right? Uh, opportunity to be in your face. That's right. You your vocabulary you like it. That's right. <laughs> it takes a lot of courage to get up there and to be able to speak. So that is a skill that you need when you meet someone. That's a skill. It takes a lot of courage. And you have to practice that. You have to practice speaking off the cuff. So all these competitions are designed to be able to help you Build your skills, your knowledge, your skills and ability. So it's not just a competition for fun, even though it is a lot of fun, but it's to help you build up your confidence, to build up your ability to be able to meet a business and industry partner, to be able to, to you know, build up something in yourself, to be able to be comfortable talking about yourself, talking about what it is that you know, to be able to express what it is that you want. And it takes a lot of courage, but the more you do it, the better you get. Just because you see somebody doing something doesn't mean that they aren't, they aren't nervous or they aren't scared. But you have to do it anyway. Don't let your fear stop you from doing something. But that's an actual competition that kids do. And they're nervous so they don't mean that they don't do well. So um, the judges are tallying up their scores and they're going to tell us. I need all my contestants to come back up to the stage. And we're going to say who's in um, fifth, fourth, third, second, and first place. And then we're going to give them some feedback. Positive feedback because feedback helps us to grow. And we're going to ask them how they felt when they were up there doing it. Does anybody um, want to say um, how, how they, I'm going to miss somebody. How do you guys feel about feedback? It was nice. Feedback was nice. Feedback was nice. Because that's an excellent opportunity. Because if that's something that you think that you would actually do as a part of us, no? Yeah. I hate you. I spoke to one of our Yeah, that's something that we do as a part of this. We're saying we have an extemporaneous um, speaking competition. That's a part of leadership. We also have a prepared speech competition that if you join Skills USA, you can go on the website right now. And the topic for the prepared speech competition is um, Ignite Your um, Potential. You can prepare your speech right now. And the first regional competition starts in January. You could be working on your speech right now. And I'll tell you something. If you join, do the prepared speech competition and you memorize your speech and you get up there and you don't have a note card or anything and you deliver that speech and you got your body language down and you're making eye contact and I'm telling you, you're going to kill it. Mm -hmm. But the best thing you can do when you give a speech is if you, you're standing, you got your body posture right and you're memorizing your speech and you're making eye contact or it looks like you're making eye contact but you're really not looking at somebody, you're just looking at a point and you got your hands together and you're confident and you squared up, you're going to kill it. So, judges, they're still counting in their score. So, that's one of the competitions that we do. We have a quiz ball competition um, where you can put together a team of five people with two alternates 
And I don't know if we have time to do a little bit of that today, but there's more than just the culinary competition because everybody can't do culinary. So we have to find ways that if you want to compete, you have to do another uh, competition. So Quiz Bowl is a great one um, that we could probably um, do. We have chapter display. Um, that's great for those of you who are creative. We are promoting a bulletin board. There are so many opportunities for you to participate. Um, in Skills USA. I have a fall leadership conference that's coming up October 18th at Mississippi College in Queen. When is y'all's fall break? Oh. Yeah, it's $10 per person. It's a half a day conference in Mississippi College. So I would love to have you. don't have to be a member of Skills USA to come to the, to the fall leadership conference. Everybody in the school can come to the fall leadership conference. Um, it's going to be a, uh, you know, half a day. It's going to be a great day just to come out. A lot of great things are going to be going on at the Mississippi College. So are we ready? Mm -hmm. So who's going to be the spokesperson for the judges? Mm -hmm. So you just come in and you just say who's in fifth place, fourth place, third place. Okay, well first I'm going to say that y'all are in They're not going to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think that y'all are in the mm -hmm. But in fifth place, we got, um, I don't know your name. Wait a minute. Fifth place, come on down. You can pick one piece of candy out the bowl. Yeah, give them a round of applause. Fourth place. My name is Quincy. Quincy. Feedback? Anybody have any feedback? Anybody have any feedback? Oh, wait, you're so hard to make Yeah. Okay, can y'all come back? Can y'all come back? We want to get some feedback first. Why did y'all, why did he get fifth place? Why did he get fourth place? We want to be, you know, we want to be respectful, but why did he get fifth place? Why did he get fourth place? Okay. Are you doing feedback? Yeah, we're doing feedback right now. So, the reason why we decided to be fifth place is because he was like, he was an active speaker, but he wasn't using like, he was using slang and stuff like that, not stuff like that. He was using slang, and I feel like in a competition like this, What's an example of slang? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He didn't do it. He didn't do it. Okay. What about fourth place? He did good, but I bet you learned our body language, too. Yeah. He was moving them like, he could stay still. I have AK. in the guy. Oh! He was doing it. 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 Roughly about 10 minutes or so. 945. Okay, so. Ooh. We're going to have just a quick, quick, um, quiz bowl competition. I just need, um, two people. I want to use my ideas. So, quiz bowl is uh, a competition that's very, very, very popular amongst. Most of all of the student organizations, there are uh, nine student organizations rep represented in the state of Mississippi, and all of them have some kind of quiz bowl. But Skills USA, we just do current events. It's just okay. current events. We just ask questions about current events, and you buzz in, and you answer questions, whoever answers the most questions. Do <laughs> <laughs> like I want to do that? Kind of like Jeopardy, yeah. Okay. 
And um, so we do a quiz bowl. You get points taken off for it. So we wanna um, we wanna do a quick quiz bowl. We can, but we just want to get quiz bowl. So we're gonna get some people on this side, some people on this side. I'm gonna do it. We get power on this side, power on this side. Come on, Gaia. Gaia. Come on, bro. What are you doing? Oh, shit. Where they go? Okay, you can do it. Oh, come on, bro. Wow. Straight to the ball. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. We need one more on this side. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm going to play. Come on. We need to go. Hey, Dana, go. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. It's a quiz, but it's a kid. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. But come on, bro. Okay. Do it for your mom. Okay. 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 Oh, wait. Can we get out of here? But come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Okay. Do it for your mom. Okay. Come on. Yeah, Demar, it's here. Oh, it's here. Come on, get on this side. Nah, I ain't getting on this side. <laughs> 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 Republican Iowa caucus for president. 
What that is? I'm arguing that Republicans are our partners for president. Oh, man. Raymond, Ray, Raymond F. Kennedy. What? That was a Draymond. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Republican. Dude. Republican. Yeah. Huh. Is it Donald Trump? Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Uh, 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 Why you say that? Patriotic song in and about the United States. Huh? Which one mentions sweet land of liberty? Uh, 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 and the layout of more than 2,300 employees. She? Oh. <laughs> Walmart. What? No. <laughs> Which major retailer oh, has announced the closing of five stores and the layout of more than 2,300 employees? Oh, I don't watch the news. Yes. It's, it's a clothing store, is it? I don't watch the news. Is it a clothing store? Yes. <laughs> JCP? No. Is it a clothing store? Is it a clothing store? Yes. Is it root? Is it root? Ooh. 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 Man. Ooh. 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 At one atmosphere of pressure. Where? Where? Which of the following pure substances has the highest melting point at one atmosphere of pressure? You got to You got to say it says It's It's yeah. Skill. No, I'm not going to Magnesium yeah, oxide, oh, you can sodium chloride, or calcium chloride. What is it? Who raised the hand first? Us. Us. Well, we, it was us. Yeah, it was us. What was it? I told you it was us. 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 Hey, y'all chill out. Okay, two more. I have both. Following the Pentagon Papers, which happened in the Iowa caucus, Vivek Ramaswamy dropped out of the race for president. Who did he endorse after he dropped out? Mm. Yes. Oh. oh! No, no, it's not. Yes. yes. Oh. Okay, yes. one more. Last one. Okay. What okay. is the name of the tallest mountain in the world? No, T. No, we was not. No, we was not. 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 So I tell you what, we'll do this in class one day. I like him, folks. We'll do this in class one day. See how y'all come out. Yep. It'll be about safety. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all hey, can get one piece out of here. Right. Oh, what kind of, hey, yeah, give me that, give me that. You get one piece. I don't know who's it is. I don't care. You can take it both of you, bro. Hey, come on, bro. Oh, bro. Appreciate it. Don't take it, bro. It's so fast. I don't care. I just got some twins. 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 Ball conference, $10 per person. You get a t-shirt. You get some other little happy.